This is a Monte Carlo simulation of stock volatility. Say we have a stock price of $10 and we are going to see over a year how is that stock going to oscillate. So each time I press F9 it will give me automatically a new run. And you will see it varies quite a bit because there is randomness involved. So how did we calculate this? Uh, the stock price is let's say $10. We do the expected return. It's 10% divided by 250 trading days in a year. The volatility is the annualized volatility 25% divided by the square root of the trading days per year. So based on that we calculate every trading day up to 250. What the value is? The starting value is just $10 equals B2. But the next one is the previous one plus the previous one times the expected return plus the volatility times and then we use the norm inverse function that calculates a random distribution based on a random number on 0 and 1 is the standard deviation. So it oscillates and you copy that formula all the way down. And this chart just shows all of that. First of all it shows the value every trading day. And then we also created a baseline. And the baseline is just repeated $10, $10, $10, $10. Because there is so much volatility we should do this many more times in order to get a Monte Carlo simulation. So what we did is we added here a table that says for instance 20 days after 40 days after 60 days what is the value at that time. So we create this row, this column and then we put here a VLOOKUP function. It looks up 20 in the range A7 through B256 locked. Okay. It finds the value in the second column and false means it is never an exact match. And we copy that formula to the right and that is calculated each time for another run and another run. We are going to run this 11 times. Uh, it's better to do many more times but I just want you to see the whole table at once. That's why I limited myself to 11 runs. So and we, we highlight this entire range okay. and we put in there a data table. Data what if analysis, data table, no row input, but the column input is any cell anywhere outside the range that we are working on. And it created all of this. And each time I press F9 that will change. If you want to know what the formula is in there, that is equals table, comma, S17 or whatever that empty cell is and it calculates through that cell each value over and over again. It does that pretty quickly. Um, here I calculated the averages for 11 runs okay. and I plotted them here. So this is a more reliable curve than the other one because it's less sensitive to randomness because I did so many runs. Actually you should do many more runs. So you will see that in general it will stay close to that $10 range but sometimes it will go up, sometimes down. That line is more reliable if you have many more runs. It speaks for itself. So this is not the best way to do a Monte Carlo simulation. You need many more runs.